Storm of the Purple Sweaters, Owen Beckner gets us going with the opening face-off. He has appeared in every game for the Storm this season, and he wins it. 20 seconds gone by in the hockey game. Sioux Falls onside, Weebush, two on one down low. Weebush fires, and a glove save made by Cameron Corpy. And stripped away, Hyannis only get it out to Connolly. Here comes Connolly, maybe behind everyone. He's in, he's got a step, he fires one forward. And Mans makes a save on him. Back behind him, Lucas Shevich across to Kensman. And now Simpson onside, gets it right to Connolly. In front he goes back, Henry scores! Trevor Connolly, 28th goal of the season. And the Storm lead it, 1-0. Well, that is an absolutely beautiful assist from Cooper Simpson, his fourth assist of the year. Trevor Connolly! Well, now it's the goal to Connolly now. Sioux Falls back on side, looking to now tie the game up. They fan on one, Steenerson charging ahead and just can't get to it in time. They will find it though with Lacroix, fires on, hit the post, and rebound, they score! Storm snap it ahead. Here's Connolly, centers it back. They go across, they got a play, and a one turn Mans with a big save. They'll play it forward. And Smith finds it, fires, trying to pick the angle. Mans pushes the goal, the goal off here. Found here by Ryan Smith, he'll push it onside. He's got an option, back they go. McEwen shooting off the post, it goes. Almost three nothing. And back and ready to go for the second period. We have the face off, and Tri-City plays it ahead. Sioux Falls has it. They'll hold on to it and drag to the near side corner. Turn it over. Here's Connolly. Back he goes to Constant. Shoots one. Scores! Number three makes it 3 0. Cry City Storm goal! It's the sixth goal of the season for Seth Constance. He puts one upstairs on Christian Mins. Sioux Falls will go forward with it. They got a break in front now and on goal. Shut down by Cameron Corpy on a break between the circles. Stampede onside. Down by three early on here in the second period. Oh Behind the goal, they go swiped away. It's three. It's on. Corpy makes one save, maybe two, with the right pad stretched out. They'll swarm to it. They'll flip it out to center. Here they go. Seven on Logvin. Logvin. We're going to move around a couple of players. And then Blake Steerson jumps in trying to help him out. Back behind the net, turns it over at center. Lucas Shavich sees Steenerson going to the net, gets it to Longman instead, and the one-timer shut down by Mans. Still onside, though. A.J. Lacroix, we're going to fight Steenerson. He's going to go right here in front of the goal. Steenerson back and forth with Cholich. Right-handed punches now from Steenerson. Cholich ties him up and gives him a whack or two, and they'll separate him. Far side of the building here. Sioux Falls looks to move it out. Tri-City will wait. Kensman, long shot. Good save made by the glove of man. Now we might have a little more. As A.J. Lacroix gets separated in front of the goal. Storm up by three, looking for more. Conley goes down. Moved off the puck by Jack Phelan. Stampede onside. Pelosi has it. Bumps it away. Across they go. They can't shoot. Now they look to center. They fire and it's in. And it's three to one. 14-31, left to go in the second period. And Sobieski looking to find it. Shoots it, blocked in front, rebounds there, they can't shoot it. Storm looked to strip it away, stick goes flying in the air. Back for the stampede though. Sobieski fakes a one-timing slap shot, shoots it, save made. And it falls down across the ice. Here comes McEwen, five on five, and he gets on the ice immediately and it makes an impact to take it away, but it's not out of the zone. Pelosi shoots it, scores. 3-2. 10-17 to play in the second period. The Storm get the penalty killed by Chris Pelosi. Face-off victory for the good guys. Constance, he loads up and fires Connolly. As maybe score tonight. They fire one, they score! Simpson! And the Storm go up again by two. Four to two, 9.44 left to play. In the second period, some deception there as they move it to Simpson and Mans was not looking. 
Look at him and Trevor Conley celebrate together. That's great to see his 44th and 45th on the year. Lucas Shevic on side near side. Free arrow, one-timer. It looked like it went in, but it stays out. And I wonder if they'll want that one looked at. Looked to me like it hit the upper portion of the goal and popped out quickly. 8.57 to play in the second period. And Tri-City is up 4-2 and very close to making it a three-goal game again on the other side. Cameron Corpy has to make a glove save. If Tri-City can take two points tonight, it would all but secure at least a fourth-place finish, which would mean home ice. Conley hold down at center. Now Nearing sets up, looks to center onside for Sioux Falls. Across they go. Here comes Connolly. He won't be happy about taking down to the ice. Here he comes on the break. Shoot, scores! <laughs> Play five on five. Gennady Chali high in the zone. Nearly given away to Lacroix near side. They fire. Save made by Corpy. He covers it. Five on five to begin the final frame. Owen Beckner will get us going as he did to start the night as he matches up against Chris Pelosi. He couldn't fire, though, out to center. Tri City finds Rossi. Over the line he goes, shoots it. Save made by Manns. Beckner and Lucas Shevich drafted. Here's Rukanakis. Centers off the back and the net is free. Stays on side. Bodie Leyland. Long shot. Goes off the glass. And out to the neutral zone. Found here by the Stampede. Borgula run into. Still has it. In front he goes. Looking to create a highlight real goal for himself. Now a drive. They score. This one goes in from Casimir Sobieski. He rips one by Cameron Corpy. It's 5-3. to three. Couple of hard hits each way. Sioux Falls looking to steal it here. And the Storm get back to it. Ryan Smith back and forth with LaPenta. And they want to go. They're chopping at each other. Waving sticks around. And they'll take each player. Half a minute gone by on this. Four on four. Here's Gennady Shali. Centers. And a fire. Good save made by the right pad of Corpy. He's way in a position here. And they shoot it underneath his legs. Wee Bush. 29th of the season. It's 5-4. to four. Back near to Connolly. Trevor Connolly looking for the hat trick. Dancing around in front of the goal. Cannot fire. They pester him. Looking to take it away. Constance shoots it through a screen. And it goes wide and high and way down the ice. And now the Storm get beat to a loose puck. A break. And on goal they score. Five hole on Cameron Corpy. And we're tied at five. They do have it correct downstairs on the scorer's table. Onside, Weebush shoots it, and Corpy wasn't sure where it was, but it does stay out this time. Inside the line. They fan on one with Kensman. Keeps it alive, though. They push it ahead. They fire one. Same thing by Mans. Rebounds there. They're looking for it. No team has it. Back and forth they play. We move on. Smith gets it back. Briere's breaking in front of the goal, trying to get it to him. And he gets tackled down from behind. Briere goes down. The net comes off. Lucas Shavitz plays forward. They hold the line. Back down behind the net. Critical points on the line. It bounces in. Oh, they say it went in with a high stick. They say it went in with a high stick. And they wave this off. Cambriere played it back behind the goal. It bounced in off the skate. But the fact that it was played with a high stick and then it goes in off of a Sioux Falls player in front of the goal, it did not bank in off the netminder. This is getting down to the minutia of the, of the rule book, and here we go. This is a gigantic decision from the officials. No goal. Each team looking for a point here in the standings late, and each team will get it. We're going to play overtime tonight, 5-5 after 60 minutes. On the road for the Storm on January the 30th. From the faceoff, Tri City's got it immediately with Connolly, and now he pulls it back to the neutral zone. Connolly, Beckner, and Lucas Shevich out there. Connolly gets tripped up at center. Fans want the cold. They're going to get one here. Lucas Shevich finds Connolly in front. He goes, circles around, 
shooting one, and Manns makes a glove save. Down low, and they miss the pass, trying to find an option. Here's Briere, shoots, and Manns makes a save. It's free, the clear is on, not out. Rybakov has it, gives it to Cholich. Off the wing, here he comes with speed, look out. 2-1-1, on one. Sioux Falls looks to win it, and on Corpy, and he shuts him down. With Falou, now Conley's on the ice, look out. In the zone, near side, they tee up a one-timer, and Cameron Corpy makes a save. Eight seconds left in the overtime. Storm located. It's out to center. Five to five. Overtime, not enough. Shootout coming up. Opening shot of the shootout. He's one on O. And one on one with Corpy. And waits him out. Shoots it. Cameron Corpy with a stick save. Logvin has it. He waits. Backhand and the glove save made by Mann sprawling across. And from center, holding on to it, pulls it to the forehand, shoots it, scores. And Pelosi will give the Stampede the lead. This is the second frame of the shootout, second round. Here's Briere, shoots, and Manns makes a save on him. Here we go, third round of the shootout. We Bush in, fires, and Corpy shuts him down. Can Connolly keep this game moving along? Connolly, top of the left circle, and fires, and a save made by Manns. And Sioux Falls has won it. Tri-City 0 for 3 in the shootout. Sioux Falls erases a three-goal deficit in the third period to put two points on the board in the Western Conference standings and win this opening game of the weekend.